Richard Holden. Thank you very much indeed, Mr Deputy Speaker. A fewer sectors have been harder hit, as many members have said across the House, uh, by the coronavirus pandemic than our cultural and entertainment sector. And in North West Durham, there has been so much going on, uh, and it's an absolute vital driver for our incredibly important hospitality sector. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank the Minister on the front bench for some of the Cultural Recovery Fund and indeed the Heritage Emergency Fund, which has come uh, the way of North West Durham. We've seen um, over half a million pounds for Durham and Darlington Music, Music Education Hub. Ushaw College has had over half a million pounds in total. Um, Durham Wildlife Fund, 45,000 pounds. The Weirdale Museum, uh, a really important uh, new local venture, uh, 45,000 pounds as well. But the largest support really has come uh, for my entire sector uh, through the furlough scheme and through the grants for local pubs and clubs which have really uh, made a difference to so many businesses uh, and uh, cultural venues in North West Durham. Um, but uh, at the moment we're seeing a huge investment in Durham uh, from the County Council. However, very little of that's coming to my constituency. In fact, in a recent survey I did, 91% of my constituents are very unhappy with the a way that Durham County Council is spending £63 million across the county but hard in, in uh, leisure spending, but hardly anything for my, constituency, uh, for my constituents. Uh, that's in sharp contrast to local people themselves who are really putting their shoulders to the wheel. And I think particularly of uh, David, who runs the Roxy in Leadgate, a really important uh, local uh, former cinema, then bingo hall, which he's really trying to rejuvenate. And I'd urge the minister and ask him to pass on to his colleagues, uh, if at all possible, to get a visit up to see David, because it's a, a fantastic project there. We've got some superb local uh, bands, including the Bear, Par uh, uh, the Bear Park and Esh uh, Colliery Band, and um, some superb local institutions like the Weirdale Adventure Centre as well. Now, they've missed out on the Cultural Recovery Fund, um, but I'd really urge the Minister, if he can, to have a word of the Chancellor ahead of the Budget tomorrow, because some of those rural um, uh, uh, education settings for outdoor education are just so important. We've got a bid in, me and the Honourable Members for Darlington, um, Bishop Auckland and Sedgefield at the moment, we're wanting to get to the Weirdale Railway going again. Really important uh, heritage site, uh, connecting up so many of our uh, cultural and entertainment sectors. And I hope that the Minister uh, will use his good offices to help us uh, lobby the Department of Transport to get that over the line. But uh, finally, I'd like to uh, uh, basically commend so many people in my local area who work in this sector. It's vitally important now and for our recovery. And, uh, uh, and I really hope that the Minister can have some uh, positive words of the Chancellor to help them recover and grow into the future. Thank you very much, Phil.